And I'm Dylan Black. The Harvest Moon is coming. That sounds like a lot of fun. Not really in the sky or anything like that. It's an event happening Saturday, September 9th. And here to uh, talk about the Harvest Moon is the Harvest Moon Chair and President as well of yep. the Blackburn Community Association, Laura Dudas. Thanks nice for having you. us. Pleasure to see you. And how about uh, Laura Cardiff uh, as well, a teacher with Norman Johnson Alternative Program. Hey there, glad can to you, be here. Good to see you. Can, can you tell us a bit about the Norman Johnson Alternative Program? Sure, so we're in Blackburn Hamlet mm -hmm. and we work with youth age 16 to 20 um, who are looking for a little bit of an alternative setting than the traditional high school. Okay, Yeah. wonderful. Uh, and this Harvest Moon, um, it's, I don't know whether to call you by your first names or last names because you're both Laura, right? So <laughs> I'll just look, okay? Uh, tell us about really? the Harvest Moon. Is this the first year that this is happening? It, it's Certainly. part of 2017. Yeah, it's, it's a celebration for the community. Um, basically, it was an opportunity to access funding through Ottawa 2017. Mm -hmm. um, we have a number of sponsorships as well, and the Blackburn Community Association is funding part of it. And it's a, it's a partnership of seven community associations who decided that this would be a great opportunity to not just celebrate Canada's 150th, but to honestly celebrate our communities and get people together and just have a really good time. Okay, so September 9th, 3 to 10, mm -hmm. um, and it's happening at Barrington Park? It's happening at Barrington Park, so it's right behind the Orleans Library. It's mm -hmm. at uh, 1705 Orleans Boulevard. There is a rain date because this weather has been miserable yeah. lately. Mm -hmm. So September 10th is the rain date and we are going that weekend regardless. So stay tuned to so the So no matter the what, the harvest moon is going to happen. Heck yeah. Or in French, le lune de Mousson. Oui. Did I actually get that right though? Is it la lune de Mousson? Yeah. <laughs> You're too kind. What activities can we look forward to at the Harvest Moon? Because obviously we're going to be doing some planting here. Mm -hmm. So we're incorporating planting? green into yeah. the harvest moon so the the premise of the idea was to actually make it an all ages um, community-based event so we have a number of demonstrations and activities that focus on the changing of the seasons agriculture in our community it, it focuses on local groups that are going to be offering demonstrations we're gonna have all sorts of fun activities we're gonna have afternoon tea in the library we're going to have a kids zone we're going to have a demonstrations interactive I, we didn't want an event where you just go and people throw information at you and you walk away mm -hmm. it's literally going to be get your hands dirty take things home you know all ages That's and fun. it's going to be a dance and fireworks at the end too wow okay lots to get to uh, so <laughs> laura teacher teacher laura can uh, should we um uh, start planting some stuff here sure yeah do absolutely. i have to get my hands dirty because i'm a bit of a pretty boy right like, i brought I you some gloves you know because i just i want to be feel pretty <laughs> not dirty all the time but okay yeah. fine i'll do it uh, yeah. what exactly are we doing so when we're at the harvest moon festival the students are so excited um to be involved in gardening and uh, making our own healthy foods to use in our healthy uh, foods program at the the school. Um, so we're actually going to be putting on two demonstrations at the Harvest Moon Festival. Um, one of them is uh, we're, we have a great partnership with uh, Growing Up Organic. Mm -hmm. um, they're an organization that comes in and um, they've taught us a lot about uh, square foot gardening. Okay. So we're going to be teaching the community about square foot gardening, essentially a way to maximize the amount of produce you get out of a small space. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of them. But the uh, workshop that I'm going to be doing with you today is okay. the one uh, about transplanting basil seedlings Ooh. into a pot to take home for your kitchen. Okay, mm -hmm. I got my gloves on. All right, so come on over. All right, can um, I just go, maybe we'll just switch. Yep. Sure. Switch. Yep. Switch Here right. we are. Switch so sides. these are the basil seedlings that you are going to be planting into this pot here. Okay. Um, so a you get to way because I would just you get to pick whichever one you want. Yeah. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tilt the package on its side and kind of squeeze the bottom a little bit until it pops out. You got it. Squeezing bottoms yeah. on live TV here. You okay. got it. <laughs> and, uh, and then yeah. you're going to place it right in there. there. Okay. Awesome. We're going to firm it down a little bit. And there's some soil in the bucket over there. You okay. can top it up. Okay. Look at that. We're making a mess Great here job. so our you're lovely volunteers awesome. can, as soon as the show's <laughs> over, I get in my car, see ya, and they get to clean up. Okay. Perfect. And then you can put a little water on Oh, we're even going to. Spider Man watering can. <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility. There you go. Spider-Man, the original. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's fantastic. Is that enough water, though? You don't want to overwater, that, right? You've got it. Because yeah. you can hurt the roots. You've got it. Yeah, no. You're a gardener pro. No, not so. at all. You gave me like the easiest job possible. <laughs> is there anything else you need me to do or would like me to do? No, that is great. And so everyone that comes to the Harvest Moon Festival and comes to our booth, uh, the Norma Johnston booth, um, will be able to take a seedling home with them. Really? For okay, kitchen. But there must be a cost. I mean, what's... 
Absolutely. The whole the, the whole event is free with the exception of the food trucks. So there will be food to purchase. Okay. However, everything else is absolutely free. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Okay, we'll switch spots again because if I stay good. here too longer, she's going to put me <laughs> put you back too to much work. longer. Yeah, yeah. you'll put me back to work. Uh, you've got uh, all kinds of local groups and businesses mm -hmm. involved as well. So who do you have on board? Well, I, I do, you know, we have a lot of businesses on board. Um, Orleans Kia is going to be providing a shuttle mm -hmm. so people can get to the site and it's a more sustainable option than, than driving. Um, we're going to have a number of tech activities. A number of our elected officials have donated to the cause. But I do want to mention that this is a volunteer organized event we've been planning this for like two years yeah. seven community associations and I'm gonna quickly name because they're amazing sure, go ahead. Blackburn Hamlet Bradley Estates Chapel Hill North Chapel Hill South Shadow Nuff Orlean or sorry Convent Glen Orleans Woods and Pine View have all come together donated resources do donated support and it's really it's a community planned by the community for the community it's a wonderful thing though Okay, so you have a specific date, but you also have a rain date. So let's yes. get those uh, details at one more time. So the, the date that is going to be held is from 3 till 10 on September 9th, and then the rain date is September 10th at okay. the exact same time. So, you know, if, if we call it, it's the next day, come heck or high water. That's awesome. Should I sing some Neil Young right now for you? Please do. On this harvest moon, I want to be with you again. <laughs> I just need to grow some gigantic sideburns. <laughs> okay, thanks, that guys. The two thank Lauras, you. that was awesome. Not awkward at all towards the end. Uh, thank you. The Harvest Moon <laughs> is going to be happening on uh, September uh, 9th. There you go. Coming up, we have a pediatric sleep consultant next on Rogers TV.